hello great youtubers welcome back in this video i will share with you how to build a diy arduino plc with esp8266 this time we will get our hands dirty by creating the pcb at home with the help of a laser printer with this esp8266 chip our plc will have a wi-fi capability let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so we have our circuitry, we have our power supply, we have our relay chip, we have the input signals that is denoted with this particular terminal bo blocks and then we have the optocoupless for it. We have our ESP chip as well, and then we have relays for the output. Okay, we have our board here, and to make the PCB at home, we need to tweak the design a bit. So I will save the design in another folder. Okay, and then I'll add, I will change the design file name to underscore DIY, and then I shift to the PCB design. And then I need to change this particular drawing, sorry, this particular writing to the top layer. I will change this one too as well to the top layer. And then this inscription also to top layer. And then the ESP version also to the top layer. Okay. I have to do same for the output indicators as well. Okay. We have this VS, I need to increase the pad a bit so that it will be easy to solder or and then also drill at home. Okay, I have four of them and I do for all four. Okay, great. I need to position this section also a bit. Okay, now we have the design. Let's have a look at the 3D aspect of it. Okay. And now take off the components and then see how it appears. Not that bad. Okay, good. We will now move on and then grab a paper. So this is from an old magazine and it needs to be glossy. Okay, I can feel the texture. This is a bit glossy. It can work. Great, we now need to print. I go to the PCB view and then go to output and then print. And then here I need to configure for the top layer. So I take out everything except the top layer and then the border. And then you need to mirror this. So I send it to mirror. This is how the printout looks like from the laser printer. Okay, great. We now need to print out the bottom layer as well. So I go to the same place and now take out the top layer and then the rest of the item leaving the bottom layer and then the size of the board. And this time I don't need to mirror it. And then I click on OK to print. Okay, we have the printouts for the bottom layer as well. I now need to prepare the copper board. This is how the copper board looks like. It's both uh, back, top, and then bottom copper board. And then after polishing it up, this is how it looks like. And I now need to align the two drawings on top of each other. You need to expose it to a bit of light and then make sure that it's aligned. And then when you get a perfect alignment, you need to glue one end. Okay, the end is glued. I now raise it up and then position the copper board correctly, aligning it correctly. I now close it and then glue this end to as well. I then pass it through a lamination machine for about 15 to 20 minutes. 
so you need to repeat the cycle to about 15 to 20 minutes and then everything will be okay after that i soak it in water for about five minutes and then after that i can easily peel off the paper and then we can see the printout of the toner on top of the copper board nicely printed okay i have peeled the back side too as well and we can see we need to take off any debris that shows on the tracks and we can see it perfectly done now we need to etch the board and then what we need to use is a ratio of 2 is to 1 we then need to clean with thinner and this is the finished product we now need to drill our holes and this is the bits I'll be using for the drilling okay great so after drilling this is how the board looks like now we now need to put our components so we have the board we have the lead we have the ESP chip we have the optocouplers we have the connectors LEDs resistors the stand for the IC that is the relay drivers okay so we use this copper wires and then I use these copper wires as jumpers okay so I place the first in the first jumper position I play the next one and then solder it up okay I need to repeat this for every point that I need to put a via okay great I now put the resistors Okay, I need to now solder them up. Okay, I grab the soldering iron and then the lead and then I start soldering. Okay, so the resistor soldering is done and I cut off the extra legs. And this is the finished product. I now need to solder the top side. Okay, top soldering is done. And this is how it looks like we've go ahead and now mount the optocoupless I'll solder them quickly Okay, soldering done. Okay, we now solder the top side. Okay, great. We now put on the next component that is the IC stand for the relay. Solder it up quickly. Okay, we now mount our uh, LEDs, the green for the inputs, and then we use yellow for the output. 
okay the red is for the analog output solder them up quickly okay we now mount the stands for the ESP and then mount the jumpers as well and then the power supply that's the back converter and now mount the terminal block or the terminal connectors and solder them up quickly now mount the relays solder them up we now mount the power supply connector and then this is how the final product looks like we have all components mounted the pin for the LCD okay you can see all this soldering and neatly done now we need to test the board we need to first adjust the voltage this is the negative and positive probe we need to set your meter to voltage and now the current that we are reading sorry the voltage is 11.3 and now adjust the bar converter so we get 5 volts since our board will be using 5 volts okay we have 5.1 which is okay for us we now mount our IC for the driver we now put the jumpers for our two relays that are connected to the I2C bus and now mount the ESP Great, I now connect it to the laptop. And then connect the power supply, which is 12 volts, or is set. Now we need to write a test code. To do that, we use Open PLC. So I come here and then change and then create my variables. This is my input variable. That is going to be input 0.0, .0 and I'll create up to 0 0.4 and then create an output which is going to be Q0.0 .0, and then create up to 0 0.4 okay great and now add the the connecting rails and then add an output I add the remaining outputs two three four and then add the inputs one two three four and I wire them up And then our code is ready to test this is how the code looks like and I'll compile and then select my ports and then click on transfer to the board okay we can see code transfer is ongoing okay it's done we can now test our board now connect two woods to the first input we can see the relay coming on next and then i test again everything is working fine okay thank you for watching we will look at other functions of this board in our next tutorial see you bye bye